So, I kind of let my flatmate play Lollapalooza with me. So that guy is Abhimanyu Singh Rathor. He is my flatmate and we're best friends and we've lived together for the last eight years. In that time, he's become really, really important to me and he's kind of influenced my life and my career. We watch movies together, we eat together, we listen to music together, we do a bunch of shit. If you need more context to who he is, he quite literally plays my flatmate in my music video, Forget Conversation, except he did it wearing a giant T-Rex costume. <laughs> Forget the lies, what's in your eyes, close and not caring. Abhimanyu and I are very, very similar in some ways. We both didn't grow up in India, but he's the total opposite of me. He's a shy guy and he's really, really funny when he's familiar with the people, but otherwise he tries to stay away from social media. So he's already hating that I'm doing this video. So I've had a long-standing dream that if I ever quite literally reached an amazing stage in my career, I would love to share that with a friend. Why? I'll get to that in a bit. But Abhimanyu was a perfect candidate for this. Obviously, I love the guy, but he also plays guitar and he's influenced my musical taste significantly and introduced me to so many good bands that this was the perfect gift to give him. I just really wanted to give him the gift of being able to say that, hey, I played Lollapalooza. Anyway, here's what happened. All right, it's guitar tuition's time. How many are you, are you excited? <laughs> are you excited to learn how to play a Tejas song? Very good. We have just rehearsed for Lollapalooza. Give me your thoughts. Are you excited? This is important. This is content. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Go from here. So shy. Everyone who's playing guitar with us. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be ready tomorrow. His idea. It's his idea. Tomorrow morning. It's not my idea, okay? Teach him the chords properly, huh? And the seventh part, like, just make sure he nails it. Uh, so have seven. you practiced? Yes. <laughs> you want to do it? I have to do it, science. Like I'm in school or something. Hi, I'm Tejas. This is my flatmate Abhimanyu, uh, which this video has been about so far. If this has been edited well, then this has come at the right edit point. So Abhimanyu, uh, yeah. I just want your thoughts. Get, get what, shut up! No, say what, what is it like to be backstage? Are you enjoying Back, yourself? Backstage oh. is fine. Are you oh, nervous? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, not yet. But you will be. I will be. Okay. Um, it's all good. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been playing guitar for? Since the year 2000. Okay. On cool. and off. So what are you playing today? Tell me what guitar are you playing I'm, today. I'm uh, playing a white Stratocaster. It's a Squire. Yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I only just made it into the Fender. Uh, world, so. Do you know what pickup? Um, what pickup position are you going to be playing? Uh, the good one. <laughs> but we'll be matching because we have white, white guitar. I have a telly though. Yeah, but it's white. Mine's Fender. <laughs> when I'm on stage, I swear to God, seeing you guys here, seeing my friends here, seeing my friends there. I feel truly at home, but I wanted to feel even more at home, so give it up for my flatmate. I'll be money singer out to her, everybody. Alright, alright. How are we doing, Lollapalooza? Are we good? Well done. 
You did it, everyone. You you played your first Lollapalooza. Wait, one second. Is that is my red bump visible? It's, it's on that, my it's face. That, it's Sorry. Okay, how was your experience playing Lollapalooza? Did you feel good? Did it feel good to be on stage, or were you more nervous than good? Uh, first I was nervous. First I was, I was nervous. Petrified. I was petrified. That's the actual. What's the next sir? Once we started playing, it was fine. Yeah. It was great. Uh, you did a great job. I saw you. You had your concentration face on. When he gives a pitch. And, and when you, we were doing the whole work from home thing during the pandemic, he's giving a pitch, he's got his work face on, and he's just like, oh, so the thing about the, the brand is, he had the same that face while playing guitar. Yeah. It was great. It was Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. It was great. So that's the story of everyone you're playing at Lollapalooza. He was great. He killed it. He absolutely nailed the parts and everything. And I'm so proud of him. But the important thing is that why did I make this video? Why did I give Abhimanyu a chance to play with me on stage? Well, the thing is living with a musician is hard and it took me a long time to figure this out because I don't know why I thought, oh, sharing the same space with a musician must be the coolest thing ever in the world. It's totally not. We are loud, sometimes obnoxious, uh, egotistical people who are constantly plagued with anxiety and insecurities and share them with the people that we're living with and that is absolutely true because we are passionate people and we want to make sure that everything that we do comes with a certain amount of quality and 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 you know finesse living with that person may not be the easiest i can't speak for all musicians but i definitely know that's true about me i just really wanted to share my world with him and show him what it was like to be in my shoes even for a day one just so that he knows where all of this weirdness comes from but the second thing is that I know he really loved it and it was a really fun time for him and I really wanted to give something back to him because he's been so amazing and tolerated a lot of my bullshit over the years eight years to be specific and that's really what this thing is about I think it's just a reminder to all the musicians out there who watch this don't forget your friends in all of this they are the people who will stick by you through the good times certainly but most importantly through your bad decisions and your worst times ever and never forget them on your way up because if ever you're on your way down they're definitely going to be by your side so that's all i wanted to say be good to your friends and share this with uh, a close friend and uh, and hopefully uh, you know i'll see you guys very soon at a show or something and i'll bring Abhimanyu. on you <laughs> thanks for tolerating my bullshit all these years sorry oh yeah i thought he was going to be like no bullshit it's fine anytime okay great Cut. <laughs>